feel as long as you feel that you're in control, right? Being able to face that fear and as long as you know the proper steps and you can justify what you're doing, you'll be all right. It's one of those things where you don't get airplane crashes that just fall out of the sky, you know, but we do incorporate enormous amounts of training. There's enormous amounts of knowledge that has to be obtained. And you have to always be on the ready, just like any other MOS, and especially when you can at any time deal with life safety. After you get through doing the pre-setup, then we do what we call the safety brief. What do you think about this evolution of the type? I was confused with my boots, right? <laughs> After you go over these briefs and everyone's on board, how they're going to find themselves out of a dangerous situation, how we're going to attack the fire, you know, and to make it a great evolution. The training pit, the purpose of it is to utilize uh, a live fire. In an actual live fire, we put JP fuel in there, JP8, whatever it is, uh, and we pretty much, we light it up. Basically, we try to utilize the tactics to go in there and let them understand we can, you know, it's not just to give classes. You can give classes all day. I can show them videos all day. Once you sit there and say, hey, this is a fire. This is a living, breathing thing. Get them in there. They start putting into motion what we've taught them. And they realize how the heat has effect on them. You know, and, and they need to be put in these environments. 